welcome back to another video so in this video we are going to install the windows 10 in the gns so go ahead and click on new template over here click on next and go to the guest category and click on windows select the second option for windows 10 if you select this option this will be windows xp so if i hover that one my mouse on that particular option it is showing me that product is windows xp and if i click on the second one and you can see that it is a windows 10 one so just select this one and click on install click on next click on next and it is showing me the different version so i will select the latest version over here and i will click on download click ok and it should start the download it should take me to the download page it is asking me for the virtual machine select the windows msh windows 10 which is the stable one and the platform we are going for the vmware windows or mac and click on download the zip and uh, it will take time to download the it's almost like 7 gb of files it will take some time to download so once this has been downloaded i will come back again right so my file has been downloaded so i will just open the download folder now and i will copy it to the secure location extract the files from it right, so once the files have been extracted you will see a new folder and inside this folder you can see these three files so we are interested only in this file so I will just open my file below and uh, if I do a refresh now I can see a new folder and this is the file if I go back to my GNS3 and you can see that that's the name of the file so I will just do a double click on it and it will transfer that file to my GNS3 VM once the file has been transferred I will open my GNS3 I will click on cancel click on new template again click on next go to the guest and go to my windows over here click on install click on next next and it will uh, try to scan the gns3 vm directory and it should find that uh, it should locate that file right so once you can see that after scanning it is showing me that the file has been located and it is ready to install so now i have uh, transferred the first file to the gns vm because it will uh, sometimes if you try to Im import from here it will be stuck so that's the reason i do that one because these are large files so above one gp files i used to do the same thing so click on next and click on yes and click on finish and you can see that there is a windows 10 so symbols have not been downloaded so you need not worry so it should be downloading when we are installing these devices but since it's not installing that's not a problem but we are able to install the devices so just click on right click configure and you can see that it is taking 1 gb of ram but i recommend it recommend you to 2 GB of RAM and 2 virtual CPUs and click on OK and just start it and get the console and now this is a VM been installed totally installed you're not going to install the Windows 10 from the scratch it has been already been installed and uh, if you go to the right click configure and if you go to the usage you can see that the username is IE user and password is PASSW0 this is not O in this one this is 0RD so that's the password so if you like you can copy it from here and do the copy paste and I will open the console and it should open very soon and you can see that my windows has been on turned on so I will just click on this one and I will enter the password so you, you can see that by default there is IE user and the password which we have already copied from there I will say that uh, P A S S W zero R T and exclamation mark, and I should be able to log in to Windows 10. So now coming to the changing of the symbol. So what you can do, you can directly change the symbol from here, or if you want to change permanently here, so you can go to the edit, go to the preference, click on KMO VMs and go to your windows 10 you can see that there is a windows 10 click on edit 
and go to the symbols click on browse if you have your custom symbols you can just click on custom symbol and browse to the png file and select the png file as you like or if you like you can change the symbols from using this different categories which have been provided over here for example i will go with the affinity square green and i will select any one of the symbols like i will select the client click ok ok and apply and ok and on the left hand side you can see that it has changed my symbol away and now you can see that my windows 10 has been up and running i hope you have enjoyed this video see you in the next video